Oh yeah, Shovel Knight Plague of Shadows. This is the free, and I stress, free DLC from Yacht Club Games. Now, in a time where we get fucked by downloadable content... <coughs> come, come. <coughs> okay, okay, they are trying to get better at it. With Shovel Knight, we get basically double the game with this DLC. We now get to play as Plague Knight. You know, that asshole boss from Shovel Knight? Basically impossible not to get hit by him. Well, now you are him in what seems to be parallel to what you already played as a Shovel Knight. But uh, wait, how come Mona is here and you are here at the same time? Well, I guess she could have gotten some sort of alarm every time you blow up the wall and then she will rush to meet you. But wait, wasn't always there a blimp? It's now gone. And wasn't Shovel Knight the one who fought Black Knight? <laughs> yeah, I mean, no point in thinking about it. That's not why we're here. Plague of Shadows is much a love story as the original was, and it's actually kinda cute. You eventually learn to dance from the Trouble King, and after that you could just press and hold down and watch Plague Knight dance. But when you are in front of Mona, he gets embarrassed. Aww. Die, bitch. Yeah. He's not a good guy. So you're trying to extract the essence from the Order of No Quarter to create a powerful formula. And then, you know what? I won't spoil it. Yeah, because at the end of the day, the story is really not what makes this game. What makes this game is the gameplay. And I gotta say that I found it not as tight as the original Shovel Knight. To me, it's very apparent that the game was originally designed uh, to be played by Shovel Knight and not by Plague Knight. First of all, all levels are exactly the same levels from the original game. Uh, some differences, small ones here and there. And all the assets are the same, same music and everything, so what originally was a cool challenge is now like a normal jump for Plague Knight. Oh, and if you wanted to play the exclusive characters like the Battletoads or Kratos, uh, they are nowhere to be found here. Plague Knight has essentially a triple jump, and I love that, except that to do it, you need to press and hold the attack button and then release it when you want to make the longer jump. That to me just makes controlling the jumps in attacks at the same time that much more difficult. For example, you're encouraged to always have the attack button hold, because your double jump it's not very good to clear gaps. You need a third jump that can only give you when you hold the attack button, right? And so, like in this room here, I want to be able to jump high, but since you have to press the attack button first, boom, you are fucked. Because when you hit the attack button, of course you're gonna blow everything up. And this happens way too often. Yes, you eventually get used to it, but my point is, use another button. You have like too many that are not even used for anything. But I guess that's the way it was designed for. I found the abilities and the way you can create different types of attacks really appealing. Although some of them were useless to me. But just like in Shovel Knight, the ability to change your attacks and armor to fit your gameplay style is still something I can appreciate. And uh, here's another part where, to me, it was clear that the game was not designed with Plague Knight in mind. Because most of the bosses, I destroyed them in a fourth of the time that I did with Shovel Knight. Especially when you use Leech Liquid, because every time you connect a hit, you gain life. And, uh... Uh, is that a bong? Uh, nah man, it's just for my glaucoma. <laughs> In the end, Shovel Knight Plague of Shadows is not as refined as the original and it reuses all of the assets. But does that matter? No! In the end, it's still a great addition to the game, doubling the gameplay time, which uh, was actually one of the only criticisms of the original game. And it's free! So shut up and go and play it! So, thanks for watching Okado's Retro Reviews, and hasta la próxima!